You're watching the Weekly 150. Everything you need to know about this week at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office in 150 seconds or less. We started the week with our job of the week. The new school year is quickly approaching and we're looking for school crossing guards. The part-time position is perfect for retirees or people that enjoy working a flexible schedule. You can learn more at pcsoweb.com slash careers. Monday, Stanley Cup celebrations continued as our Marine unit assisted with the Lightning's Boat Parade. As Deputy Savitz and Corella found out, providing security for the Cup Keeper's boat has its perks. Thursday, we threw it all the way back to 1933 with this copy of then Deputy Sid Saunders' Bond Card. Prior to our first Uniform Patrol Unit in 1960, deputies were actually not employees and were bonded by the sheriff to execute their duties and responsibilities as set forth by law. They used their own vehicles, clothing, and equipment. How times have changed. Deputy Saunders would go on to serve as sheriff from 1953 to 1958. Congratulations to Captain Jennifer Nobles. Yesterday, she graduated with the 23rd Senior Leadership Class at the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. During the seven-week program, 25 law enforcement and corrections executives learned about risk management, budgeting, and leadership. This week, we also welcome the new member of the Public Information Office, Deputy Amanda Sinney, who joins us from the Department of Detention and Corrections. The Public Information Office handles daily inquiries from the news media, prepares news releases, coordinates with production companies for shows like Forensic Files or Snapped, and assists members with interview preparation. We look forward to working with our media partners and always keeping you informed. Did you know rip currents account for more than 80% of rescues performed by surf beach lifeguards? They are powerful channeled currents of water flowing away from shore that quickly pull swimmers out to sea. If you're caught in one, don't fight it. Swim parallel to the shore and swim back to land at an angle. And always remember to swim at beaches with lifeguards. Have a safe summer. Mark your calendars for Tuesday, August 3rd from 6 to 8 p.m. as we host National Night Out. This is your chance to get to rediscover your community and meet some familiar faces from the PCSO. No matter where you live in the county, a National Night Out will be near you. For more information and to RSVP to your nearest National Night Out, visit the event section on our Facebook page. Time's up. See you next week. Thanks for watching.